As soon as he decides to throw one in, things are gonna go from bad to worse for the likes of ATK, or maybe not. I thought this one was gonna be a shutdown, but now Lato's the only one that's standing, and he's only able to muster up one before he's taken down the site. Very much so, underwhelming of the control in ATK. Bomb shoots to go down, and Bowden Master, well, he tries to deny the denial, but still a one-for-one -one trade. Is Barton now creeping, crawls his way into the market. He's got a kit, and he's got a smoke, but he doesn't have his head. Fala, galera. Beleza? Aqui quem fala é o Leasto aqui no começo do vídeo, só pra apresentar a vocês o Cesco Fest, mano. Patrocinador fiel aqui do canal. E graças à força de vocês, liberaram mais um doll pra todo mundo que utilizar o cupom Aleartes. Caso você queira depositar qualquer coisa e continuar aqui jogando aqui no site, mano, não esqueça de utilizar o cupom Aleartes e utilize também o link, sempre o link da descrição, fechou? Tamo junto, galera, e bora pro vídeo. I'd like to do so. Here's a little bit of mid aggression. Trying to hold on, hold steady here is... God oh. said, oh my god, Modem. That was one of those early pieces on Mirage that we were talking about, you know, is that game plan gonna work here early? And yeah, right we now. Yeah, we a lot yesterday, you're right. He and oh, a lot yeah. of the other ATK players were showing up. Well, so has missed him here. Apparently he and Swisher are the dynamic duo coming barreling up to the A ramp. Taco, he's traded one back out, but the dink, I'm not too sure if that's all gonna be worth it. So... Yeah, for the time being, once again, they find themselves in the middle of the bomb site, Just awaiting to see what they try to do on the retake. I told you, you're not really aiming and aiming for a retake here if you're God sent. Considering they don't really have a kit and one Molotov, it's going to be difficult to crack back into this site and get through post plants. Oh, missed him. He's got a good flank on the CT player. Lotto. Oh, he's going to be blindsided by this. That's going to be a free pick, Taco. He should just be getting out of dodge, bro. You're not winning a realm like this, especially on 10 health. This is the optimal start for ATK. Quick 3-0. You know. yeah, That's a great start. They're able to deal with that first gun round. Really good work done from ATK here. So they're going to look to Ooh. test. Dude, Bowser running right past him, but I feel like he might have heard some footsteps. Maybe not. No, missed him. Going to kick off proceedings with a nice opening pick. Dude, Mao going to drop here. <gasps> and Swisher has a perfect timing, but no, missed him's going to take it away instead. And he's been like, missed him. Might have just caught the timing of the year through underpass. Henny's oh, off going man. to be dropped. And that's the biggest weapon of the save. Gone. Taco. He'll trade, but that's a lot of info given right back over to ATK, knowing that these weapons are going to be picked up. I wonder if they keep going for this hunt. You want to make sure they can't retain that off. No, no, no way. way. That's the op. Gone. Dusted. Kissing goodbye. Watto's the only saved rifle. Coming back. Oh, missed him. Um, he's not clear of this. And Fady will either. There is a chance for him to slip the net for a potential kill or two. And he's going to spam down the deagle for one. Oh. And even a nice little headshot to connect for a double. Still, B site is only open. Dumao is the closest to respond. You still got modem and connector, and they want to hunt him down. You can see they're trying to pinch him in, and they've done so successfully. Four on two, and they're weary to go out into the site. This flank's being activated. Swisher, he's not going to spot this. The MP9 has all the extra potential to line them up. The op now falls, and Swisher left one V4 with the bomb on his back and a kill to his name. He's going to need a little bit more. A nice couple of one taps or no? Just the one do Mao. Still able to one for one trade. He should have been dead to rights there without a singular frag. But instead, he walks away with that least one. So, some small consolation there. For what could have been a disaster. And Dumao is still holding steady. He's trying to follow up off that success. But Swisher on the lurk is good for oh, one. The? They're right next to each other. Henny misses the first, but gets away with murder by finding that kill. Now spamming him down. It's Fady. He'll find another kill as well. And only takes a leg shot. So, he's still standing. Still kicking. See if Fady can't work a pick or two on this ramp lurk. Taco. Starting to walk up. He's not confident with just sitting idly by, and he doesn't. Now he up to missed him, rather up to Fady. And Taco's got the better of the two angles. This entire play, this entire round success seems like it comes off of the back of a potential bait and switch. And it already feels like it failed. Now doesn't hit M4 in the middle of the side of Barton, and it seems like he's got everything closed down. Well, I say that, but it's only going to be good for the one, and Swisher's got another trade in the middle. There's a chance here as they come barreling up through the stairs smoke, and Swisher's gotten in the window undetected. 1v2 on the flank. Taco moving through the murder hole. Swisher, he's given up the angle and even going to spot oh the footsteps. Oh shortly, angle taken, but still can't convert the kill. He's done enough, though. On one HP, he doubles down and Mistum's planted over in the triple stack. Does he know that Mistum's planted here? He will eventually and even spot out the head, Taco. That's being a man up, trying to close out a round like this. Make it a double. Another entry in for Beatty here. Molly's right on the money. Spotting out Taco. He cannot escape. 
the overwhelming factor is in. The numbers being punched in as well off the back of it. On in time. Or maybe he's just trying to sell a fake in from the oh, apartment. No. Oh, that's a free pick on the Henny, though. That's so huge. Doom out. Still pushed up in the A ramp with the info given. Modem can't find the trade. And the collateral. No, not collateral, but double found. There's still a man pushed all the way up and through. Bowden Master missing the off shot as he gets pushed down from close range. And now you need Miss him to double respond again. Barton still with the A1S will not give up the angle. And you leave it to Swisher. I mean, he's a reliable guy, but not enough. Especially with Lotto on this super awkward off angle. You've got Taco on the boost to respond as soon as they actually come pestering into the site. With 30 seconds to go, Henny's off is also been here to spot him oh And of course, missed him breaks the like it's nothing. But still, Taco's the man to worry about with the off cross. Uh, okay, missing the shots. Now he's trapped in a ninja. He needs to double down, and he's not been allowed to. Bomb made its way out of the apartment. He's just going to get the digits punched in. That's all they're worried about right now. Playing for the post plant. And Modem, well, he tried to go up on the ninja box. He used to jump initially. Well, assemble that boost. And look at this. I mean, he's going to avoid that ball. He's going to have a good sight line if anyone tries to push out that door. And he's going to have a hard time getting out of this. And they're all three coming through market as well. That was his only chance. That was really it. He had to find one there. But now you leave it on good old Swish. With at least two players whereabouts noted. He's playing around this default pillar. And he's got to hope that things work out his way. Maybe going back into the apartment. Oh. That's what they think. But no, only good for the one. And if he can find that second, it's actually very possible. Need to aggress up. There's two players still only to deal with. Already picking off one of those catwalk players, though. This. They gotta walk into the jaws of the crossfire, and they still get to take down any of these players. I mean, look, even it even seems like the church knows it, Axner, because the bells are ringing. But apparently not enough for the, or the round to be won. ATK still in it. But, albeit, a bit of a couple of caveats. You've got Bowden so low, and Swisher's really the only one who can hope to respond here. Henny and Barton. They both come through in market. He wants to pick off this 1v1. If he can find any of these market players and just stay alive, there's a big chance in this round. But Barton with the awkward peak shuts it down. And now it's planted for default with Bowden sat in bench, tucked in. Maybe they're hoping he went catwalk or something. I'm not too sure, but I'd imagine this is going to be hard cleared. You're right. Yep, they do definitely clear that. That's always going to be an angle that they're going to cover right there. Brother unpredictable godsend it works out to a t well it's probably only something you can account for once it's all you need it to do and they're about to go up to eight six i mean what is this their seventh round in a row this is crazy right now godsend they can't really be stopped it seems it's, no it's not their seventh in a row but it's still eight for the past seven or rather eight for the past nine yeah and you'll take that trade any day of the week right you've really resurged a little bit of momentum Here's that three on four, though. A couple of nice shots placed in from Bowden. Looking to try and claw this one back. They still have to deal with the op. The crossfire far too much. Heads are shown, though. Swish going to pop them off. They oh, might they be somewhat aware of hitting, though, right? They should be. They know oh. he's here. They know he's zoned in. And here's Switcher. And another late round scenario doing a lot of work. One more jungle. <laughs> and okay. That gets a little bit awkward there. Daco secures it. Taking up the momentum here in this one. No way. Attack to the smoke helps out with that easy pick from Doom now. Hard to place right there, but an early pick going forward here. Modem gonna trade things back. And a repeat comes through from Hitty. He'll fall. Another kill comes through from Barton holding down that A site with the here, but a lot more to deal with here. Connector Palace all being pressured. A dink oh is landed, but it's not the kill confirmed. Taco instead gonna take that place. It's another two on two, but it seems like it's gonna go the way that all the other ones did. Bowden Master trying to creep and crawl his way in through a B site flying Taco. He's the first on the chopping block, but if I were a betting man, I feel like Bowden's intentions would be to go towards CT. No oh way. My God. Oh, oh man. My Lord. He's not gonna find the other, but I genuinely wonder what's the game plan here? It almost seems like they're uh, having a party. Don't you dare turn around. Do don't you dare, Odin. Don't do it. Taco, Stop don't. That. You can't do this. Ooh, there it is. Yeah! Nice kill. That's well, he's nice got to go one. get the bomb. Like, he's got to get the bomb and ramp. He's going to take this fight before he gets there, and lots of on the long range with the auger. Sure. Obviously, other teams will, either team is going to be happy taking home the pistol, especially with the nice score we've got going on here. But God's sending going to be the ones drawing opening blood. And with that, they have... Uh, Free reign of going to whatever, whichever destination they choose, and it should be fairly weakened up. Bowden Master with the response in con shouldn't be caught either. He slipped the net for the smoke, and now Fady going to ensure they can't come up catwalk, or if they do, they take a heavy price of damage via the Molotov part. He's a bit too eager, and same goes for Dumao, but I guess he punishes the lackluster amount of bullets in the USP, so we go into a two-on-two. -two. A Swisher's position potentially not to be noted over in Palace. He's got the dualies, so 
He should be able to just shut down this round in mere seconds. Soon as the bomb plant's gonna be heard. Well, Henny's looking at Palace. Won't really matter where you're looking, especially when you got the bomb good that's getting punched in. And we get to see what they can or can't accomplish. Barton of Connectors found a trade, and now Modem and Vini are stuck in the ramp. Three kills come through from Godsent. And with only one trade, Bowden Masters probably just got interest elsewhere in saving the op. I really don't mind that gamble, though, from, right? I mean, that's what they've been offering up nonstop. Lockdown defenses all throughout this event. And that might continue with MOTM spotting out a quick frag and dealing with some of that aggression. Now, Mr. looks to offer it up as well, but can only find one or a little bit of damage, not even one. Going for the full A execute from Tetris. I like to see it, but now how will it work? Because you've got three defenders once again stuck into this A site. ATK have been so good with these rotations to ensure that there is a plenty of bodies and manpower to actually fend off the site. And look at all the damage being induced right now, man. I mean, they've got less than 50 health combined between the three of them. And now they just decide to cut their ties and to take it elsewhere. You've got no utility left on a counteraction from ATK. So... There's a workable world here, especially with Bowden's op being one of those players. It's like if you hit a nice shot. Oh. Okay, well, speaking of nice shots, I ain't going your way. Might be able to get the bomb down though if you're lucky. Oh, oh my God! They just said nice shots right there. Taco and Bowden both have something to say. It's a nice shot hit from Taco. He even tucks himself in towards Cat. Now his teammate has to get those numbers punched in. The line is being held, but Fady misses his shot, misses his opportunity. And now with that plant coming in, is he gonna clear out this close cap position? That's my question. And the answer's gotta be no. A 1v2. How has this gone so Save wrong in OTM? He's gonna call it off and constant steal around away. Seconds to make these kills happen. And unless you're a magician, it just seems like ATK are about to convert yet another un unwinnable round. Swisher still looking for more in middle as there's two holding down the bomb. Oh. The lane not even being taken. Godsend have run out of time and they've run out of manpower. They've given it up. And what should have been their 13th round is gone. ATK. They steal one away. Counter smoke to go. I guess he's going to drop it in and buy some time for the rotations to be pulled. He plays around jail, but if Barton finds this kill and hits a nice shot, then the round might be done with just that. Swisher, he's still in to call them out and call their bluff. Bomb dropped on the ground, and as they come charging out to the apartments, it's a funnel. It's a death trap in which God Center about to forfeit up a 10th round. That's if they can even find any form of kills. 2v4. And yeah, the timer won't even allow him to inch their way into the bomb safe. And he's already vacated. Lotto looking for some extra credit, but he won't find it. 12 to 10, God sent. Now they're the ones hitting the wall. Really sick stuff as well. I mean, I, again, they had oh, a something really here, but it seems like they're just going to take the reins towards this B bomb site. Again, Fady getting this smoke down, but it's not going to offer him any coverage. And another dink landed. Swisher has no head Kevlar, so that Mac 10 is doing massive damage. Finished off by Lado. And now, uh, again, we've seen ATK in these positions before, and I think we're going to see. But there's it. just a little thing missing. I can't quite put my finger on it, but just something slight. It's stopping this team oh, from like. Okay, never mind. No, that was Palace. Sure, this Palace here, so safe for now. I mean, this round has to be confirmed, right? ATK. Oh no, they're going back towards B. They're going back into fading. Now that's information spotted. Can you find a trade? No, hitting misses his shot. Now complications going to arise. It leaves them with only one option. Last year, they found themselves that B bomb set, but they can do nothing with it because they don't have that bomb in their hands. Fady again has thrown a wrench in the system here. And it's a two on three. There's still a player tucked in towards Firebox. There's no way to confirm this. Yeah, this round's done. Like, there's no way Godsend can burn on the round. Uh-oh. Like you just uh -oh. simply can't. Or maybe you can. Missed him. It's somehow been spotted. Oh, he dropped seven it. seconds ago, we dropped the bomb. Now it's just about playing around default. Being a nuisance. Being a rat. And that's what he is. It's what he gets done. Missed him. Plays it to perfection. ATK off of his individualism. Are going to win themselves in a lineup. on the missed him, but it's not the kill. And he almost got jumping. He's going to get spammed down so close to death, but he's still going to stay alive. And what's he actually going to even confirm the opening pick there? Things in good stead, followed up by Fady as well. I told you, it's just prolonging the inevitable. Eventually, they were going to have to face the facts and face the, that this is probably the reality. There are potentially two kills standing between them and what could very easily be an eco round having to be taken by Godset. And Swisher is leaning towards the ATK favor on that. It's a two on four with the A site potentially compromised. They're going to let them have a bomb plant. So maybe, maybe I'm just dead wrong. But still, they've got plenty of manpower for the retake. So all in all, this should be a fairly one sided round towards ATK. The only question is how much. If they can do a little bit of damage here towards the tail end, Godsent will be very thankful for that bomb plant that was given over to them. But otherwise, 
know, if this is a clean retake, ATK will continue to increase that round count. I like the play that they're going with, though. Godsent proactive in towards jungle. You're going to have one go in through CC spawn, ready to flank. It comes down to Barton trying to buy time here. How much can he buy? He's got his connector point cut off, but he's going to turn attention elsewhere just in time. He finds one pick in this round. Actually, might be won by Godsent. They're just going to go ahead and stick the defuse. It's planned for CT and for default. Oh my god, Tarko's activated still. You need somebody to stop him. You need to stop this man from CT. He's gotten two. Is it's there time enough. to defuse? No, there isn't. Godsent have taken it from the clutches of defeat. I mean, you just couldn't have played that clutch any better, right? Missed him, just tucks into the corner, plays anti-flash, looks for an opening headshot on the Deagle. He's got a teammate behind him with the spray. It's not going his way. Penny from the flank takes him down with his back turned, and now the A site cracked wide open. There's still bodies coming through from CT spawn, but this plant's gonna be delivered in. And again, you don't have any kits. Retaking is pretty much not a possibility at this stage. So do they call it a save? It doesn't seem like they have much interest in doing so, but it'd be the wrong idea. Swisher. No, this is Fady rather with the M4. Still tucked into CT, still looking for something to be given back to him. Swisher's from the ramp flank, and by the time he can activate, it'll be too late. 1v4, and he's even been spotted. ATK have let oh, up map. Oh, is that, wait, what are you guys talking Because that time he was walking into a wall. Yeah, yeah. Seems like no, we're he's all good. Top connector smoke in. The fast movement up catwalk here. Swisher's going to be committed to his angle. But maybe for good reason. Finds a lot of damage and a kill. One and a half here. And oh my god, ammo. The ammo able to find much, much more. Bomb's been dropped and round confirmed here. 15 seconds left with the max in. MOTM to close things out. It's probably the worst of both worlds because now they're just kind of like target practice for the mid player. And yeah, this is target practice for Bowden Master. As he taps away for each individual head and connector, Modem will come away and sweep it up for the full hop house into again. the A site on the cards. I mean, the smokes come flying through and I assume the flash is to follow suit. But that's where the bomb is. Like that gives away all the information necessary. Barton just oh gonna walk into the angle and Bowden gets away, even drops the molly in. That's called the strat off. There's nothing they can do to get into this. They're getting locked out. Molly's gonna buy further time. Bowden's gonna take another fight. One's another one as well. Dumao gonna hit the dirt here. They know that bomb is in palace and Bowden's not done, but maybe he's overstayed his welcome. He's gonna drop to the flames and that's gonna help out the site take. This has got overtime written all over it. Taco maybe wants to write a bit of new history here with the Galil and Connector. He's brought us back to a three on three, but the utility is gone. It's all about winning the aim duels at this point. And well, the only player on the A site right now isn't taking Swisher the next uh -oh. man to worry about. Lotto gets the frag and the man advantage stolen back. Fady misses him. They know about Fady. Taco has all the info and he's going to try to find the kill, but Fady holds it down. Missed him. Still in CT being held. The plant denied, but Henny's traded. 16 seconds to go and it comes down to a 1v1. Overtime or bust. God sent. Have brought it this far in this round. Henny plays around the smoke that he's just dropped in and Fady does that as an exact play. Even about to jump on, on top of triple. He's got the proper angle barrel spotted, but Henny's got the better angle. And at the last second this time, God sent shut it down. What an incredible round right there to come through. Out of nowhere, man. Bowden finds the first two open. Swisher, Swisher. Well, now they get to try to make up for that as they come bursting out of monster. Look, I might not be a fan of monster pushes, but that's only when there's a smoke down in Barton. He's going to put down Bowden as he comes sprinting through the smoke. They are not oh done. Lotto takes two and the B site compromised. Not a chance to respond. And now Swisher, all the way from short, which seems like it's so far gone to try to make this one work. He doesn't even have a kit, and he's getting flanked in from Taco here, too. So, if they buy him enough time, and this round's going to be over regardless. Yeah, they've done it. Oh, this no. one's done. No, Taco, no, no. Taco. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, no. He's made a footstep. Come on, bro. He even gets the spin <laughs> on the spray. So, his impact should be limited, but they are walking into this three-man stack. That could be tricky to pass, and uh -oh. Swisher started off proceedings nicely. They still don't know about map. They've got a push coming through on long, so I'd imagine Modem's Ooh. impact is limited, or maybe not somehow about two. And dude, I saw a world where that gets out of hand, but Dumao Monster. is also in the very quickly as well. This could catch CCTs off guard. They got a double play towards the barrels and killer, but immediately Lotto kicking proceedings off there. Another entry in from Dumao. The only one to step up is Mistum, who's offered up a couple of kills of his own. But still, it's a 3v3 here. A gap in that smoke play to perfection from Lotto, but Mistum is still chirping up. Three kills to his name right now. That's a worthwhile trade. Like, you take that. He was so oh, no. low, he shouldn't have been allowed to get one kill, and Henny's added to the tally mark. It's missed him. 1v2. They'd require an ace of him, but they both want to swing in together to deny that fact. Henny's still posted up on the op, and Barton's only goal is to try to retain a better weapon, but at long range, the MAC-10 won't but really this matter. this is kind of what they do best. Oh, I didn't even realize they got that boost assembled. Uh, did they actually do it, though, or did they fail it? Like, I'm not sure. 
Either I way, mean, maybe it doesn't net them anything. Oh uh -oh. yes. <gasps> what? Oh my Swisher? god! No way! No way! No way! Oh no! <laughs> like I don't know who to blame there. <laughs> that, that's just like, like the worst of the worst case scenarios. Motive is literally watching you spam down your teammate. Like, is he just laughing at you? Like, yeah, hey Swisher, he's here. Well, still, they've been able to drop the bomb and maintain the man advantage, but now you've got Lato to try to step up the plate. Beatty in short, he's already fallen. I think missed him spraying in some so bullets from Mon. going to be able to slip on by, but the site going to be compromised here. A couple pop shots confirming missed his position, and again, they've got to be weary of short or monster uh -oh. fight, knowing that there was a connector presence here early on, but are they going to catch him OTM in time? I don't think they do. No, even if Henny turns around, it's just going to be a bit too late. Now Lato left 1v2, and well... He was able to ace in the previous, but on 30 health, his success and impact will probably be hairily limited. Well, hold on a second. He's still got a flashbang, and he's put it around the right side of the pillar. MOTM pushing it down, trying to play the 50-50 head. Now spotted. Mato hits the flick, and another beautiful conversion from him. The young gun of God sent picks um, up a six. And just say it, right? And be then, profound. You also have to win four then, majors. Then every time... No, no, I don't. Then every time you see a score like that... The chat is going to be losing their minds about it. Oh, oh, but not a good start right now for Godsent. You talked about the being a rough go about things in the early Ooh. stage, but Fadium missed them, holding steady as ever. And surely this is around that they can get on the board with. Surely they get off a zero here and now and a five on two. I mean, you say that, but uh -oh. you still got to go through Henny. And uh -oh. his AWP, while it hasn't been the highlight of the past couple of rounds, is still performing. Most of the utility has been used up from ATK here, so if there's a couple of 1v1s given away, then, I mean, round could still get a bit weary. But, Henny, at this point, it does just seem a little bit unwinnable, a little bit out of the pay grade for my liking, and at least all he's really looking for, one more kill. Like, you get one more kill, and you can call it done and dust and be happy with that. He spotted the gun barrel of a Toxic player, too. I wonder if this has been called over to him, because this definitely somebody had to have spotted that out, right? I mean, I don't know. Mystem seems very hyper-focused on this monster position. Well, I mean, so, like, Mistum's gun barrel. Like, when he was on top of a, a Toxic, Henny definitely saw it. Okay. I mean, maybe someone as well was able to call it in. Will he clear it? Oh, it's a tough one with the op. Mistum's still going to have a bit of an advantage, you know. Yeah, he sees a barrel here. That could have been start. bad. Like, if he falls, there's a way to get that this bomb down. This is what has been calling all throughout this series. And he's going to do it once again. A fast B rush in the mix, but a couple of heads popped off. Missed him, gonna find three. He continues to rain down terror from above. Inside the flames, Bowden's gonna try and find a kill, but no, nothing found out. The flight confirmed, though. And missed him. Back. Well, at least forced Taco ahead of the bunch, and now he's gonna need some assistance because he's the one with the bomb, and he's just gotten the opening pick on a P250. The player hurt over in water. He's trying to get the digits oh. punched in, maybe a bit too early because of 46 seconds. Now the glass slipper cracks. The kill that they had found on the opener means next to nothing. Well, they'll still find a couple of the trades. It's not worthwhile. Zumao left with the Deagle. One versus three. And Swisher oh running God. out of bullets. Oh, Zumao doubles That's up. Totally really it. So, eventually, maybe they notice that. Maybe they don't. But now they notice that they're going to blast their way out of connector and into another crossfire. They go. Bathroom set up. DP established. And two for three. I guess not the best, but not the worst. Bowden drops the bomb. And now, again, it seems like they're about to tie up this game. Oh, no. Okay. Another kill in. Again, we're talking about some economic damage being done in this round. Now, oh. another headshot landed. A nasty one as well. It scares Lex of Fady here, who's last man oh. standing. And Dumao hits the last one as well. Can accomplish on it? I, I don't know. Like, everything's just leaning towards a cloud set victory if this keeps going. And it most certainly is going to. Barton's hitting shots like that, dude. Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> Unreasonable entries right there, man. The calling isn't even necessary. It's it's Taco calling in. Lotto, go kill. Barton actually helping out as well. Disgusting stuff here. There's still one in bathrooms here. How does Swisher turn the tides in this round? How does he pull this one back? He's in a really awkward position, getting closed in from multiple different angles. This bold call here. Look at this. Going into Bowden Master's off, and then they have a crossfire. The trade is good. One for one, and Henny turns a 180 hit from... Monster Tunnel, and they're going to continue their endeavors in. A lot of presence left to deal with Fady. Offering coverage with the Famas, but spends a little bit too much time spamming through the smoke. It does set up Switcher for success, but now he's the last man standing. Another 1v3 called upon for this guy. Uh oh 
But this time it's a lot more winnable as he slipped in. Oh my god, Swisher, you dirty dog. But no, he actually walks into Henny and blocks him off, so he needs to know that he just has to take the kill. Bomb dropped at the middle of the site, vacant, but they're both completely split up from one another. They try to crunch in from short and from pit. Oh. He's double down when he's hey, Swisher. And try and solidify themselves to spot in the grand finals. And Lotto is doing that nicely with an opening pick with the USP. Dude, a pistol round could literally just end it off right here, right now. I mean, they've already lost two players. ATK going up connector, and the play has been completely unwound, unraveled. Three on five, and I, I don't know how you pull this one back, quite frankly. Swisher is still stuck in the corner here, and I think they're weary of this. Like, you've got a couple of players posted on the con crossing, and even leaving the A-Sites faith entirely in the uh, in the hands of what I believe is Lotto and Barton. But now they continue to take these fights over in water. Nobody yet to win them, and Mistum brings one back. A one-tap delivered to the brain of Dumao gives them somewhat of a chance here. Ooh, they're pulled it back here. Bowden with the P250 is able to deal some damage as well, but Taco's going to step up to the plate here and find oh. a second edge up, making a third clean as ever from Taco. It just right. seems hard to picture on there. He's going to go ahead and swing into connector where two T's lie, and it's their final destination too. Barton doubling down. He was one of the players we were speaking at hadn't really showed up for that T side of Godsent. Didn't need to, but now as soon as he gets to be tested on the defensive perspective, he just can't be stopped three on four instantaneously. Just a sick double swing right there. Catches the right timing there. Catches a big man advantage. Fady looks to call things back. And I feel like what is his domain here on overpass? Loves these short peaks. He's very comfortable in these positions. And he's got to catch one off guard. Ooh. That's a lovely pick on Delato, who's been a bane. Extra time to try to rotate up to the A site and help bend it off with Barton. Rather with Henny. But he's got to deliver on at least one. And nah, pre player comes through. Fady, they'll drop the bomb. 27 seconds. And there's just not enough time for Taco to get in here to deny the plan. It'll be a 1v2, honest to God. A chance to isolate these 1v1s as the divider smoke soon fades. Missed him his first on the chopping block. He'll walk up through divider. But this duel means absolutely everything. You win this one, there's a chance. You don't, and there's not. Simply as that, and... Swisher's taking oh. some fire here. Catching some spam. They're gonna chase him down. He's got a headshot angle, though. But he turns oh away just in time. You could have asked for better timing. And Fady, in his favorite position, is gonna fall Dang short. Dang, both these teams. But I just feel like Godson are gonna get there. CT side here, 3v5. Maybe they can pull this round back. A great flash setup. It's gonna be perfect for the double. Lotto gonna shut them down, and Bowden <laughs> off to the save here. He's nowhere near the bomb site, and so still, I mean, again, this op yet to find any impact so far. I, honestly, I understand this save from Bowden Master. It's like, even if it didn't make sense enough, the fact that you aren't gonna be able to reinvest it, it's more so the fact that you don't want Godson having this. They don't have it now, and, and you don't want them oh. to finish with it. Now, if you close it out here, it'll be a very slow and painful defeat. And ATK are just gonna have to soak through the entirety of it. Full on B site play, and Fady's gonna be able to crash it over the opener. Still looking for a double, but no, Dumao doesn't offer it up. Swisher, I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, for a second there, somebody could have literally walked up short and found a free pick onto Barton. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. They're not holding different angles. Lots of left 1v3. And even the flank, actually, I thought there was gonna be an A side of flank, but no, there's not. He's got a kit. And he's got some time. Not a lot of utility, though. I believe there's a smoke dropped on bridge if he wanted to go ahead and find that, but did not catch his vision. Bowden Master just posts up, potentially jiggling in for this pit play to come through. Head given over, but kill not taken. And soon Lotto's going to understand that the majority of this hold is coming through on shore. Taps the bomb, hopes somebody gives him a peek, just a little bit of an inch. He wants to take an Amaya looking for the other one. Bowden Master's tucked into the corner. He wants to find the kill, and he damn well will. But the round is a bit out of the question. Op recovered, everybody taken down for ATK, but still just can't close out the round. Oof. They're gonna boost up. Swisher's down, no dead to right. No way! Lotto's coming for rotation as well. Yes, the op. And then another <gasps> kill from Taco. They're fighting everything. A five on two. Missed him the only one to chirp up for a kill back. And they're just going to converge into the B site now. Their last smoke used up on heaven. The flank being read by Henny. And that might cause some leeway up into the A side of rotation. No, they don't take it. Barton still spots out. Missed him on the B play. Lotto oh. hits the off shot on the cross. And they leave it all up into the 1v3. Even through the box finds the tag. 50 health. The great differential. But still, it's just USPs to go against him. It won't matter. Barton gets two. Oh, don't worry. Short. But through the flames. They might be able to catch him off guard, though. What was that? <laughs> Not quite. I mean, I like the fairy tale you were trying to put on, but might be a bit pushing it.
Not even a Nasty single kill off angle with the off. It is going to be a con front, but that's if it gets that far. Do Mouse put in a couple of bullets to not only smoke, oh, but walk as well. And that's opening blood drawn. Almost a second, too. No one and a half right there for free. And they are ready for this. Oh, but a missed shot. At least that's a start, but he's able to get out of dodge. And again, there's this fast flight coming through. And he gets out of dodge here. And now you have Lotto step it up. Bomb dropped and. So are the rest of the ATK players. 1v5 for Modem. This one's done. ATK, they tried so hard and they did pretty well to get to this point, but they are not our grand finalists. Join alongside Payne. It'll be Godsend. We can show off in the grand final. How oh, absolutely exciting. This is the grand final we get to see. I mean, we got that rematch here of Godsend versus ATK. We've already gotten the.